The Romans didn't just build arches. They engineered the world's first mega water machines. Here's how they did it. Roman aqueducts weren't just pretty bridges. They were precision water highways. Rome needed hundreds of millions of gallons daily. And the secret? Gravity. Engineers angled aqueducts at just a few inches per mile, so water flowed smoothly across valleys and hills. No pumps, just math. But the real genius was underground. Tunnels, lead pipes, even stone siphons that plunged water beneath valleys and back up again. Giant settling tanks filtered out dirt before the water reached the city. And those famous Roman baths? They were more than spa day getaways. Huge plumbing engines, heated with complex furnaces, buzzing with life and politics. But here's the twist. All that lead in the pipes? Some say it's why Rome fell. Lead poisoning on an empire-sized scale. Roman aqueducts, the invisible machines that powered history.